Welcome to More Than Photography, the show where we teach you photography, photoshopping, and more. Through the use of YouTube monetization friendly naked people. I'm your host, C. Alexander Moore. And I am a six foot tall anthropomorphic turtle. On today's episode, we show you how we did our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shoot. Then give you a DIY cosplay tutorial on how we made that shell. If you were a kid in the 80s, you were hard pressed to not be excited by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Ninja Turtles were created by Eastman and Laird back in 1984. Theirs was a reaction to the gritty comic book scene at the time. There were lots of vigilantes such as the Punisher and Daredevil, and there were ninjas all over TV and media because, you know, the big thing in the 80s was ninjas. So what they did is they wanted a piece of all this action, but in a funny way. So they combined it all together with anthropomorphic turtles, and thus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were born. People loved it, as gritty and graphic as it was. Therefore, in 89, they came out with a kid-friendly cartoon, and in 91, a young adult movie. Awesome. Now, the first turtle movie, while being men in puppet suits, was wicked popular. The Jim Henson Company went so far in making amazing animatronics that looked realistic and lifelike with simple designs that looked absolutely nothing like those monstrosities that Michael Bay had going on. Man ruins everything he touches. Oh my God, the animatronic faces are slightly horrifying, but it's still better than anything Michael Bay's done. I hate those designs so much. I get it. And they're also like 80 feet tall, like linebackers, and they're impervious to bullets. In the original movie, like, Wrath falls down like 10 feet and is out for days and they have to go to that farm and like that's the heart of the movie well, is that I mean, scene and then that's the new one he's like oh psh, psh, superman right right we gotta understand the new one's all digital in the original movie it was just the guy was so tired from wearing that heavy suit all day <laughs> so when a fan came to us with this amazing piece by deviant artist death phoenix we knew we had to try our hand at it check out more of their stuff at the link below maybe Beep. here <laughs> We usually have B-roll and all sorts of B-roll to show you these great behind the scene clips and just what goes on, what we're doing, but our cameraman, well... But let's go meet the ladies that actually made this shit happen. Meet the new challengers. Hi, I'm Jade, and I'm a second time model for today. Hi, my name's Jessica Sherwood. I am an actress and a model. Hi, I'm Patricia Rodriguez. I am an actress, model, and stunt woman. Hey, uh, my name is Jen. I am. A mom, not a model, not an actress, not a stunt lady. So now it's equipment talk time with Sean. Sean gets to tell you about the camera we use for the shoot. We're fans of Sony. Mirrorless all day. Sony Mirrorless provides you with a full frame sensor and the Sony's patented Bion sensor. These cameras can shoot amazing low light performance, amazing sports, with an 11 frame per second buffer, you can catch anything you need to catch. And with our proprietary Sony flashes from Nissan, the, the ni Nissan, Nissan, Ryson, Nis Nissan? Nissan. 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 We use the DI700A system with this lovely wireless receiver. It works great for weddings, for senior portraits, really anything that you're shooting will benefit from this system. Whole movies as well. Wink. This is a chart that you can't see because the graphic is up above. Ta-da! You're looking at it right now. As you can see in the back, we have our lovely green screen. Say hello, green screen. Hello, green screen. To the back on the left, you have your softbox. Always need your softbox. We put one of the Nissan flashes in a softbox and put the egg crates over it. And then we had another flash that was bouncing off a giant white card over in the back to provide a little bit of fill for the hair light. 
On the right, you have your LED and your mouse, giving just a wee bit of highlights in the back, which that helps highlight the hair and give you your background highlights so you're not getting a stark contrast, just bam, light on the person. So the hardest part about this shoot really, you know, giving everyone together and scheduling all this. And models showing up and not. Yeah, a bunch of beautiful women were like, yeah, let's do that. And then half of those beautiful women ditched out and were replaced by other beautiful women. We should probably do a whole episode on just how to schedule a shoot because it's a lot more complicated. You know, than I have an idea for that. I think what we should start offering is fucking food. If you want models to come and you're not paying them, the least you could do is feed them and water them like they're a plant. He's not wrong. Having bottles of water on set is extremely necessary. Especially if you're using halogen lights and people are just getting dehydrated. Get them some hydration, please. I'm dehydrated, give me water and foods. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Boom. So aside from actually getting them here, the hardest part about the shoot was, well, the shell. Because you can paint somebody to look like a turtle in Photoshop, but without that shell, they're just gonna look like a naked person covered in green skin. So, an alien? Enter the power of girlfriend. <sighs> She's my girlfriend. <laughs> okay. She's really talented stuff. I don't wanna wait for a nice to be over. Because you see, I was in a bit of a rut when we first started out, so I waited till literally the day before the shoot to even get started on this, with most of the progress happening the day of the actual shoot. But then I remembered I had to go buy a bunch of additional supplies, so Super Artist Girlfriend swooped in and did the majority of the shell structure and painting. So early on, after looking at what was available to purchase for shells on Amazon, we realized we just had to make it. So off to the cosplay Facebook groups we went, where we found these guys, the Cardboard Prop Company. They have a couple of great tutorials on using cardboard to make cosplay props and costume pieces. Go check them out. We decided early on that we didn't want the shells quite as big as the real deal, but bigger than in the Dark Phoenix piece. So we had someone math for us to get the dimensions right. But after that, it was smooth sailing, mostly. Now, their tutorial said to use thick cardboard, I mean, the but we just so happen to have all these useless USPS boxes laying around, so we figured those would work, which turns out was a giant pain in the ass because they're super thin. Damn! So we had to double up our layers with glue sticks to get the right thickness. So for you at home, you'll need cardboard, preferably a quarter inch thick, unlike ours, hot glue gun, sharp scissors or exacto knife, some printer paper or any other paper you have laying around the semi-transparent, masking or marker tape, a sharpie, measuring tape or ruler, matte black spray paint, some dark brown spray paint, green and brown acrylic paints, some brushes, and nylon straps with the little adjuster thingies, though in hindsight I wish we had gotten the ones with buckles. First I hand drew the shell on a piece of foam board I had laying around, making sure to get at least one side perfect. Then I traced those shapes onto paper, doubling the edge pieces so that I could just mirror them, and cut them out to use as stencils for the actual cardboard to make sure that they would be uniform. Once done, I traced and cut out four copies of each, the first two after gluing them together because thin cardboard is stupid, for the mainframe of the shell, and the second two also gluing them together, an inch smaller all around for the raised portions. So Super Art's girlfriend finished off the cutting and began gluing the frame together over a bowl to give it the raised indent we needed for the shape. After the shell of the shell was made, the smaller shapes were then glued on an inch inside their larger counterparts, completing the structure of the shell. After I got back, I brought it outside and spray painted the inside matte black and the outside dark brown. Then we brought it back inside for some last minute color washes to get some variation in that color. And finally it was time to glue the straps down and that's when things got a little... Eh. It turns out that when you're measuring where the strap should go and you're using one model that has a certain shoulder width and then all the other models have different shoulder widths, it can get a little problematic. So we had to essentially re-glue the straps for each model. You glued the wrong side. Yep. It's okay. You're yep. gonna be okay. Yep, yep. Just gonna let it try. Just gonna let it try. One more, and then we're done. We can shoot this fucking thing. But after that, it was done.
Even though I will admit on the final piece for Michelangelo's shell that is all big and prominent in the frame, I overlaid an actual turtle shell texture on it and stretched it using liquify and mesh warp to get it to look kind of fitting. But then it was done, and it looks super sexy if you ask me. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for checking out this week's episode of More Than Photography. Chichi says she loves you and she hopes you're all safe and practicing social distancing. So the format of the show is going to be changing a little bit, whereas originally we were planning on doing weekly half hour long episodes. That was a terrible idea. I don't know why any of us thought that was going to work. No one ever expects the corona pandemic. Is that we're going to be giving you two episodes per shoot. This week's was the shoot itself and the cosplay DIY tutorial, and next week will be the Photoshop tutorial where uh, we're going to buy paint some people green. Paint everything. Green all the things. Thank you again to all the people that helped make the first episode and the next like seven episodes. Before the pandemic hit, we already had like five episodes shot. So even though we're in lockdown, we're gonna be smashing your faces with constant content every Wednesday. Oh! Subscribe and hit that bell icon and get notified when the next episode is up so you can get down with some cool Photoshopping. Don't forget to check out the More The Photography merch store where you can get your very own Chi Chi t-shirt. She's a baller. If you want prints of any of the shoots that we have posted already, Links. Remember, the funding for More Than Photography comes from viewers like you who subscribe to our Patreon. It's only a dollar a month and it helps us make amazing content and keep this place running. Patreon link is down there. All of the links. Ooh, that's who we should do a shoot on. Ooh. What pop culture figure do you want to see us give the More Than Photography sexy titty Photoshop treatment to? Let us know in the comment section. Maybe we'll oblige. It's not Baby Yoda, you sick preverts. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you next week. Say bye.